they get to host postseason baseball for their Rangers for the first time. Division Series on Fox presented by Booking.com. I'm Joe Davis for the Orioles who led the American League with 100 half. How do they keep that streak going and keep their season alive? Well, they've been strike battle against this vaunted lineup for Texas. That's what they're going to have to do. Rangers team, probably the hottest team in baseball at this point at the right time. They are perfect. It was such a good game, and the Texas Rangers made a play late. Young may timing. They did everything you have to do. Now, game two was a total here at home. They haven't been home in a while. The crowd's going to be crazy. It the championship series for the first time in 12 years. Bruce Bochy and Valdi here in game three. It's the Rangers. It's the Orioles. What a night for Trace Thompson. He has not. First home game in nearly three weeks for these tech. They go three and four on that trip to blow the division that they led all year. And close to 7,000 miles later, they're back in Texas. One went away. It's been a little bit of a, let's say, get back to form. He got back plate, and he throws an occasional curveball and cutter. Look, he's a big game. It's in his home state. And last Wednesday in St. Pete, one run over six in championship series against this lineup for the Orioles in game three with the rookie gunner. First base hitting cleanup. First right-hander they face, so first start for Rise Up for Brandon Hyde. The umpire and crew continues to rotate. The crew chief now fence failed him in game one. The pitching failed him in game two. Trying to keep away. Pitching did not make it happen. They have had the lead for a half a in their mode, meaning if they haven't taken, if they've taken pitches, look for them. The big game in the second two-year-old rookie takes ball two. Oh! Both pitches two is a designed to be. And in center field, Tavares. Sad. Cedric Mullins is certainly due. And John, you were talking about guys at the first pitch. He has not swung at the first pitch in nine plays. Takes down the middle. I mean, it's a weapon that he's got. Is fading. And foul, and it's 0-2. And you need to shock somebody at some point in this game. He rocks and fires an 0-2 and misses inside. The worst. He gets a chase on a ball in the dirt. Fastball. And the height of his fastball, the reason he doesn't have to go north and south with his fastball. To fold that pitch in a few years ago. He's Anthony Santander jumps on a first pitch curveball. That's more like it. He, when you time, here comes the curveball. I'm waiting for it and gets a base hit. You're just hoping they did. Carry some of the momentum from that. He's the next day starting pitch. And an RBI. Both. Almost as if it's a left-handed curveball getting to their back foot. His 0-2. They'll swing on and miss. And Garv is plugged back in there after hitting the grand slam in game two. Garcia, Dean Kramer, who's been really good in the biggest games down the stretch. Yeah, last two starts, 11-0. And this is what he's going to do. He's going to blend his zone to be successful. When you're facing a lineup that is scalding, that means you've got to establish your... Knowing how oh. good they are, off Marcus Simeon leading things off, taking a strike. And the Rangers have an out homer. They won for those 11 walks. And here we are with a three and one. Marcus Simeon, 10 home runs to lead side. Kramer caught off by Mount Cassidy. All the numbers, you see all the gaudy numbers. But the bottom and give them credit, they made him pay. How about this guy, Johnny? Uh, you walks last game. Yeah, sometimes you can lull the. Goes That's out to the first pitch as he off the set the tone for this lineup. One ball, one strike. He's MVP. Goes for strike first. <laughs> one nothing Rangers and strike one on Garver. And run. Oof. Oh, and two on Garver. Again, if he stayed healthy. One ball and two strikes on Garver. Thumb. Those 40 games, he hit 327. Steal in franchise history. Garver sends one way. is, and they're going to try to get that target. You can see where that ball ends up. It's nowhere near. It's like a slider that gives up a lot of home runs because of the spin. Rangers in front of the world. Going and walking. Share home runs during the season. We got a lot better at keeping the ball in the yard as these. And 2 Garcia reaches out. Out base hit. That was part of the game within the game. And then threw a breaking ball that just kind of not a end of the world pit. Evan Carter oh. takes inside ball. 
21. 17 times up. Mega 13 out of 8. Well, they're a confident offense, as you can imagine. And the hitter's eye is good. And, of course, they play 81. Star catcher takes ball one. What it says on the fence. Yeah. And it travels a little. And it's not just temperature, because it's beautiful to have it cracked open, so they keep the noise in, of which there's been plenty. And now, sorry, John, you need to get the Heim on a 2-1 pitch. Sends one back on it. He's got room. And that's that for the Rangers. Dip series, 1-0 after the first. 0-2. Oh, oh! Ball one. On a 1-2 from Ivaldi. Oh, Fouls it off, stays alive. Yeah. Going, right? So they're executing with two strikes. They're winning the two-strike battle. Right side, Ivaldi cuts it off and shovels on the low. The adrenaline's up. But the reality is you're trying to make it as easy, much damage with nobody out. A lot of their traffic. Be late. Who goes after right to Simeon, two up and two down. Now I've heard you talk about. Yeah, and that will do it, right? There's two things that can happen. One, the address, and you want to focus and put the hitter away with two shots. 41 is just looked out of sorts. But Brandon Hyde said his defense quickly 0-2. He goes with the split. One, two, three. Seeger home run. The Rangers have a one to nothing lead. One win from the champion low. Hey. Strike one. Beating him. Just like that. Hey. And if he gets on last year, he had a really good year, but the last, last year. Fastball fouled off here. Bottom of the order for the Rangers. You go all season. They're just oh. no breaks. Thanks again. Can you finish him off this time? Two and two. One way or another with a call that he didn't think. On this 2-2 two, two low. Leaves oh. a fastball up. Good eighth pitch of the at-bat. It'll be a ninth. Had him at open pitch perfect. He has to keep the game closed here. Now the 3-2 to low is popped foul again. On the 10th pitch. Shoots one foul. And that pitch was supposed to never get to the three and two count. And then he's fouling off, fouling off. 11 pitch of the at bat sticks for the fastball and he's laid out. If you're going to go with a fastball because he is reading the pitch out there. Another fastball and another. Bakers does it. Wow. Another 3 2 and another foul ball. This each is a 15 pitch. And caught by Hayes, the most impressive line out base in this game. You just exhausted like one sixth of those. Yeah, no. It brings up a guy who has not been late. Bangs a base hit in the left field. The American citizenship. And he's pitching tonight as the war between Israel and Hamas. Clear. He wanted to pitch tonight, but he said the war would be. Zoan de Leodi Tavares. And the dirt for ball one. A hitter than he was a pitcher. He was like 140 pounds. I drafted. Great reminder to never give up on those dreams. Simple mechanics. Home of the one-two. Spurg has room for out number two. He drafted by the Dodgers, but came to Baltimore. And the four prospects went to Baltimore. One of them panned out. Chase, strike one. Hey. Got the call there. Got a huge call. Hey, with an 0-2. Oh. Alfonso Marquez, by the way, typically. Marcus Simeon on this one, two from Kramer. Upstairs in the county. Third. On his way to second, Simeon with a hustle dump. Here, I almost couldn't pitch to Seeger here with a base open and two out. Pitch to Garver and walk. Seeger. Eight in this division series in three games. Gives him. Good again in the corner. That, his breaking ball is Ben Garver. He does, and it's up. And it was pulled down the line. Garver delivers again. Pitch slash after you had a breaking ball that already slowed the hitter down. But man, oh man, what a good piece of hitting right there and taking advantage. And it's been Brandon Hyde to make the walk out there. Well, again, little things in post. That was his first. Opportunity on Sunday. When Bruce Bo hits, usually you're going to play the next game too, right? But Mateo. 
Figured it'd be his first eye for the bench if they see a lefty. But in the postseason, they're backbreakers. Garcia. What a swing! It's gone! Get it totally extended. See how that's middle, middle? Garcia and the Rangers do what they do. And letter high fastball crushes it to left and again is two outs. Over the first one and two thirds. Sebio's bullpen and that'll do it for the inning. Second away from the championship series and well on their way through two. It's Garcia, fan favorite here in Texas. Favorite down in that clubhouse too. A score a lot of runs. And that's what he's got right now, and it's been a long two pitch. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Duff. Evidently, Joe, Andrew Heaney told Rangers for winning audio mixer. I've never been to a Creed concert. <laughs> Hard to get away from right now. The number one seeds, with the exception of Houston. I just don't know that there is a good answer. Evaldi kicks and deals. Very high. Great run to the World Series. Yeah, so that's the thing. It's not just the Rangers these days. Henderson. Gunnar Henderson with his fourth hit of this DF. Five years. And the Eddie Rutschman, one of the greats. Hey. Well swept since. And just the cool iron. It's time trying to do so again. Well, and again. Runner field, Tavares on the move, edge of the track gets there. Wells came out of the bullpen, hey. needed just one. Henderson out, Mullins on, diving try, but can't. It's going to look like a total domination, and it hasn't been that way. What, seven minutes? Yeah. It turns into a sick. Ball on oh. low, and remember that inning starts. The most fits up. See that high target? Well, he didn't throw hey. it there. His 2-2 two -two to low it is cut on and missed. There's that high fastness. You're probably not winning if your starters only give the count. He's going to learn from that game. I'm telling you, this is. Right, tracks it down. The postseason, they were down four to nothing, and came back. Leody Tavares swings at the first pitch. Can argue that. You see the brackets and Astros lead. Two two. Sticking in the major leagues for the first time. Is to the corner with room. Anthony Santander shoots one just by Ranger in their postseason history. And it seems like when you are struggling, people. Good take there on a splitter. 3 1. Here, when it comes to the Orioles, things that they had done well, they were the best down with the exception of giving up a few runs in the ninth inning on Sunday. They know. It's just so hard to. Because the historic start that the Rays had. Season as the GM. And he's been a pop. Another 1 2 pitch. Got him with a filthy splitter. Astros and Twins starting at 1 Eastern, followed by on FS1. So when the new playoff oh. system came out, you know, I was. Well, for 26. Guess what? Another two out hit. Didn't lose much coming into the Baltimore Orioles. If this, instead of the oh, only no. way that it looked like the path. Nathan Avaldi. First season in Baltimore did really exactly what the Orioles signed. Pitching against the top of the order here, Marcus Simeon. Oh! You know the John Means injury. Hot shot, but caught by West. MVP chance for Seeger, who chases straight one to Seeger. Oh! But you could say that. Don't and, walk for Seeger. And there you're going, and, and it's valid, but they'd be a little bit different if they didn't make it. You don't have to win 100. By Westberg, the second one, and Fraser turns it to first.